Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin ay yung part 2 ng ating discussion about solving rational inequalities. Again, this topic is pasok na pasok para sa mga grade 11 students natin who are taking up general mathematics. So, ang request ko lang is for you to watch the whole video para mas matutunan mo ano nga ba at paano nga ba mag-solve ng rational inequalities. Again, this is our part 2 at sana mapanood mo yung part 1 natin. So without further ado, let's start solving rational inequalities. Now, paano ba sinasolve ang isang rational inequality? So we have here an example, x squared minus x minus 30 all over x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. First step is gawin nyo muna itong equal sign so that, so that meron ka na ngayon magiging rational equation. So you have x squared minus x minus 30 over x plus 1 is equal to 0. In this case, pwede nyo nang isolve yung values ng x in which sila yung magiging critical values natin. So, una, equate nyo muna yung inyong numerator. Your numerator is this one. x squared minus x minus 30 is equal to 0. At yung denominator mo naman, is equate mo rin by 0. You have x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, to solve for the values of x, kasi kailangan na, nga natin ng critical values, since ito isang quadratic equation, you can factor out that 1 as x minus 6 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, equate natin by 0. x minus 6 is equal to 0. Then you have x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, you need to solve for the value of x. Transpose mo lang ito. And remember, when you're transposing a term or an expression, nagbabago ang kanyang sign. From negative 6, it will become positive. Therefore, the first one is x is equal to 6. This is the first critical value na meron tayo. Next, transpose natin to. Magiging x is equal to, from positive magiging negative 5. This is your second critical value. And dito naman, sa inyong denominator, x plus 1 is equal to 0. You need to transpose it. You will, you will have x is equal to negative 1. Now, these numbers will serve as your critical values. So, pwede ka na ngayon mag-create ng isang number line. Create ng isang number line. Try natin. This is your number line. Okay. Nagyan natin this here to. So, you have negative 1, negative 2, Gati na mga numbers yung ating number line. Dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ang natin gagawin is to check whether those critical values are included. So, lagyan natin yung separation. Separation like this one we have here negative six. Ah, sorry, ni pala negative six, negative five. Yan. And then you have negative one as another critical value. And then you have 6 as your third critical value. Ang una kong ginagawa rito is to check whether the critical values are included sa ating solutions. So we will be using the original rational inequality. You have x squared minus x minus 30 over 
x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Tama ba ako? Tama. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, gamitin natin yung factored form. You have, mas madali kasi ito. x minus 6, x plus 5 over x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So, if your x is equal to negative 5, gamitin natin. Ito, gagamitin natin ito, ha? So, you have negative 5 minus 6 times negative 5 plus 5 greater than or equal to 0 over negative 5 plus 1. Para mas madali ang inyong mga gagawin, look at this part. Kapag sinimplify mo yan, it will give you 0. So kung 0 yan, at minultiply mo rito, it will become 0 over negative 4. Is greater than or equal to 0. Again, bakit naging 0 yung numerator mo? Kahit di pa natin sinisimplify because 0 times any number is equal to 0. So as you can see, Kapag ang numerator may 0, automatic, that will be 0. Kahit ano pang sign niya sa baba, kahit anong number pa yan, is greater than or equal to 0. So, ang statement na yan ay true or false. Yan ang tanong ko sa inyo. Ang 0 ba is greater than or equal to 0? Yes. This one is a, is a true statement. Therefore, kung true yan, and your x is equal to negative 5, that simply means 5 is included sa ating mga values ng x or solutions natin. That's why yung ginagamit ko ngayon is a shaded circle. Okay? So, let's move on to the next one. What if your x is equal to negative 1? Ginagamit ko yung test point. Ito tayo sa negative 1. Try natin. You have negative 1 minus 6 times negative 1 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 over negative 1 plus 1. Ito na. Pansin ninyo to. 0 na yan, ba? 0 na yan. Negative 1 plus 1, 0. Pag sinimplify mo yung numerator mo, negative 1 minus 6, that is negative 7. Ito naman magiging 4. So, negative 28 over 0. Tama ba ako? Negative 7 times 4. is greater than or equal to 0. Ang kailangan nyo tandaan, if your new denominator is 0, automatic undefined yan. Ibig sabihin, this one is false. Hindi kasama si negative 1. Open circle tayo. Okay? Let's move on to the next one. x is equal to 6. Test, test natin yan. Again, pinapaiksi natin yung trabaho natin para mas madali nyo maintindihan at kapag nagkaroon kayo ng exam, mas ma-apply nyo yung mga shortcuts natin. So you have 6 minus 6 then 6 plus 5 over 6 plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Dito pa lang yung 6 minus 6 natin is equal to 0. Tama ba ako? And then kapag minultiply mo siya sa 11, magiging 0 over 7 is greater than or equal to 0. Sabi ko kanina, if your numerator is 0, automatic, this is 0. Greater than or equal to 0. Ang tanong, ito ba isang true or false statement? Definitely, this is a true statement. Therefore, yung 6 natin is also included. That's why gagamit ako. Again, included siya. That's why gagamit ako ng shaded circle. Now, right... Right after natin i-check whether those critical values are included or not, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is pipili tayo ng mga representative ng bawat region. For the first region, extend lang natin yung ating broken lines. Okay, wait lang po. Extend natin. Nagamit kasi natin for the critical values. For this region, I will be choosing x is equal to negative 6 to represent the entire region. And just for this region, I will be choosing x is equal to negative 
2. Then for this region, I will be choosing pinakamadali x is equal to 0. At ito naman, x is equal to 7. Uh, they will serve as the rep representative of each region. Para kapag naging true sila or false, doon natin masabi na yung region na kasama or hindi. Okay, so we will still use this. So try natin x is equal to 6. So you have negative 6 minus 6 times negative 6 plus 5 over negative 6 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Negative 6 times neg this one is negative 12 times negative 1 over negative 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Pag binultiply natin yung numerator, that will give you 12 over negative 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Ngayon, since the number is negative, this is negative, it's impossible na siya ay maging greater than or equal to 0. Mas mataas yung 0. This one is false statement. So, hindi ko nilagyan ng shade tong part na to. Let's move on to the to this region. X is equal to negative 2. You have negative 2 minus 6 times negative 2 plus 5 over negative 2 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Simplifying your numerator, you have negative 8 times 3 over negative 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So multiplying your numerator, that is negative 24 over negative 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So this is 24. As you can see, 24 is greater than or equal to 0. That statement is a true statement. Since true yan, lagyan natin dito ng shade. Lagyan shade to. Yan. Para ma-recognize natin na, ay, yung region natin ay kasama. Let's move on if x is equal to 0. Dito sa region naman ito. Gawin natin 0 minus 6 and then 0 plus 5 over 0 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. That is 0 minus 6 is negative 6. Ito 5 over 1. So multiply lang natin. That will give you negative 30 over 1. So, this is negative 30. So, as you can see, negative yung left side natin. Therefore, this is false. Because, hindi pwede maging greater than or equal ang negative number by 0. So, hindi natin isama itong ano na to, ha, itong region na to. Erase natin yan. Let's move on to the next, to the last region. We have x is equal to 7. You have here 7 minus 6. Then 7 plus 5 over 7 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Tama ba? Tama. This is 1 times 12 over 8 is greater than or equal to 0. Multiply natin numerator. That will give you 12 over 8. And simplifying that fraction, that will give you... 3 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Ang 3 over 2 is greater than or equal is greater than 0. Therefore, this is a true statement. So, para mas ma-visualize nyo, I will be extending this, ano, this graph. Okay. Since true yan, okay, may nakalimutan ako rito. Ito pala ay kailangan ko lagyan ng shaded circle. Sorry. Because your critical value which is 6. Ito ay naging true statement. Since true to, ibig sabihin na itong region na ito ay kasama. So we can put something here as a symbol or lagyan natin ng counting shade, yung line. Para masabi natin sila ay kasama sa ating solution. Ngayon, how will you... Uh, represent the entire solution of this rational inequality in interval notation. So, kung mapansin nyo, mag-focus muna tayo rito, ah. Focus tayo dyan. You have negative 5, which is included. So, bracket, negative 5. Kasi kasama yung 5. 
And then, yung end point niya, pansinin niyo to, is negative 1, comma, negative 1. Sinulat lang natin. Pero, since negative 1 is not included, parenthesis ang gagamitin natin. And then, union, masyado malaki. Sorry. Focus naman natin ito. Represent natin interval notation. You have the first end point, 6, which is included. So, bracket ang gagamitin ko, ha? 6. And then, this is positive infinity. So, syempre, ilalagay mo dito, comma, positive infinity, or pwede naman infinity na lang. And always, ang kasama ng infinity ay parenthesis. Therefore, this is the solution of the inequality x squared minus x minus 30 is all over x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Ang kanyang solution ay ito. Bracket negative 5, comma negative 1, parenthesis, union, bracket 6, positive infinity, parenthesis. Again, if meron ka mang natutunan sa ating video, I hope na ikaw ay makapag-subscribe at makapag-comment kung ito ba ay naintindihan mo o hindi. So, ang pakiusap ko lang, patuloy kang mag-aaral ng mabuti sa mathematics para ma-overcome ang difficulty nito. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.